Greetings, this is Jerry Revere with the Avaya Serviceability Engineering Team. This video today will look at the steps to install the Secure Access Link SAL vApp using the VMware vSphere Client and vCenter server. The video you are viewing will demonstrate the steps to install the Secure Access Link SAL vApp into a VMware hypervisor. The steps demonstrated will be performed using the vSphere Client and the vCenter to perform the administration. The OVF wizard will be used to install the SAL OVA file. That wizard will perform the provisioning of the network storage, defining the network interface to be used, and the management of the install. After the install completes, the VApp will be ready to be provisioned and provide access and alarming services for the Avaya components directed to it. I have opened the vSphere client and logged into the vCenter server, which allows for administration of the hypervisors controlled by this vCenter. The first step is to select a hypervisor. The hypervisor I have selected will be where this virtual machine will be installed. This is indicated on the left. The next step is to select the file menu and the choice of Deploy OVF Template. The Deploy OVF Template wizard opens and the first entry is where the SAL OVA file is located. I am using the Browse button and selecting the OVA file on my hard disk. Once selected, then press the Next button to advance to the next screen. The details of the OVA file are displayed. Press the Next button to advance. The license agreement is displayed. Press Accept and then the Next button to advance to the naming of the virtual machine. I have given the virtual machine a unique name and press Next to select the storage configuration. We will use a network attached storage. I have selected the NAS unit and press Next which provides a view of the available storage. Pressing Next advances to selecting the various network interfaces. SAL requires a single interface to be set in this release. The management interface will be used to provide all SAL management functions via the SAL Management Web Interface web page. I am setting that interface and have press Next to go to the IP Properties screen. There are many pre-populated fields that do not have to be touched. The ones that need to be at least looked at I will address for the next few moments. The first field will be to set the time zone. I have set it for Mountain Standard Time. The next field is the host name field. A host name or a fully qualified domain name can be defined. I have entered a fully qualified domain name in this field. The next two fields require information that the project manager has to provide to you from the registration of the system. That is the solution element ID and the alarm ID. If you do not have that information, at the time of implementing the OVA file, it can be left at its default and it will be modified from the SAL web interface when the balance of the SAL provisioning is performed. The next typical items to be addressed are the proxy host name and the port used by the proxy service. If a proxy server is not used, those entries can be skipped. Finally, the networking properties need to be input. Those consist of the default gateway, DNS server information, the interface IP address, and its subnet mask. Finally, press Next to advance to the summary screen. This screen summarizes the previous input. Validate the configuration. If all is correct, you would push Finish. You can use the back button to adjust or to make changes. I have pushed the finish button which opens a status dialog to indicate the install progress. I will return after the install completes.
The install has completed successfully, and I am closing the completion dialog. That concludes the actual OVA install. The next steps dictate that the cell instance be provisioned with the appropriate SEIDs required to manage the various Avaya components. Access the SAL server via the web page at https the SAL IP address colon 7443. Please refer to the published white paper for the next steps. We will now look at the SAL administration pages. Before we do that, however, I need to start the SAL virtual machine. That is performed by selecting the virtual machine and pressing the link called Power On Virtual Machine. I will open a console window to watch the machine boot. I will continue when I have received a login prompt. I have received a login prompt, so I will switch to a web browser. I have entered the correct URL and have logged in. The Gateway Administration Interface is now presented. The additional solution element IDs and devices can now be added to complete the SAL installation. Thank you for your time today. We welcome comments, questions, and feedback at mentor at avaya.com or on Twitter at Avaya Mentor. For more details or related information, please visit support.avaya.com. Thank you for choosing Avaya.